Here we go. New products. Yeah. So uh, we have, I actually kind of theoretically have a bunch of these to show because I don't have the real ones. Uh, I, I think I will order a bunch of these to show you next week just so I can show you them hands on. But what I have are stand-ins for a bunch of these that I can show you. These are wiring connectors. These are not the ones that we're showing here, but these are wiring connectors, uh, and we have a few different types of these. So some of these I showed last week. Uh, some are new since last week. Uh, and there are essentially a, a, a few varieties of these. So this type that I have here and this type that I have here, these are snap connectors. Uh, these will join essentially one wire and send its signal along to many. So it is a, uh, a type of multiplier of just one wire. This will take one and send it out onto two others or, or join, the, join the circuit of, of uh, three wires together. Uh, this one does that with five. So usually you'll have you know, ground coming in and then you can send ground over to four things is, is a way to use those. Another type that we have are these pass-through ones with different conductors. So this would be useful for positive and ground, for example. Uh, and so you can see here on our snap action uh, three to three wiring block connector right here, this one allows you to run three wires through and connect them essentially like a splice without having to do any soldering, without using a wire nut or anything like that. Uh, this one is kind of more of a force multiplier, but for two different uh, signals. So you could put power and ground on this one coming in and then send out three power and ground each onto the other side. And so uh, the types we have are one-to-one -one wiring blocks, which look like this right here. And that's similar to something I have. Uh, this is a slightly different type, but these are great for just connecting one, one wire, uh, making, it, making it longer. You can see uh, a nice little demo there of the, uh, the one-to-ones. Uh, and next to it there is the five-to-five. -five. So you can see that in action there, running five-to-five. Uh, -five. Love the colors on these two. I've never seen them done in colors like this. Uh, and then here's one where we're spraying out one and it becomes five. We also have the uh, three to three and we have that two to six and the biggest one of all, three to nine. So really useful if you're doing things with NeoPixels, let's say, and you want to run power, ground, and data uh, from one pin and just send three identical NeoPixel strips out and they're going to get their power ground uh, and data signals off of those, uh, those now nine wires that started life as three. So uh, these are great looking. I can't wait to get my hands on them. These, uh, some of them also have a uh, mounting uh, point on them. So this one can be screwed down. You get a couple screws and screw it down to something. So really useful if you're doing uh, installations, uh, if you're doing burning many things, house lighting, uh, stage lighting, and so on. These are really, really cool uh, wired connectors. So yeah, you can see the two to six also has the mount points, not found on, on, on these other ones, like the three to three. Uh, one to five does have it. So any of them that kind of Y out uh, can get that, that uh, connector there. So that is, uh, that's our full complement of uh, I'm just going to go back to the new products page there. We can see them all at once. Full complement of wiring snap action blocks. Uh, this one here is a pretty similar uh, style. If I can show it right there. Uh, you lift up. These are pretty, uh, pretty strong. So you lift up that connection, poke a wire in there, and then snap that back down. So if you do that, Three times you've now uh, multiplied your wire out to two others and connected them. Uh, so that uh, is one. Another uh, new product. You'll have to stop me. I can't remember. I think this one we had last week, but I'll mention it again. Is the uh, the MOSFET breakout. So this is a little MOSFET driver. Has JST connector on one side to connect to your microcontroller, data pin, power, and ground. And then it has the uh, two... Uh, spring action uh, terminals for connecting your motor, your solenoid. Uh, it means you can now power off of a itty bitty weak little pin on your microcontroller and use the uh, transistor on there to be able to uh, drive a, a power hungry, current hungry device. So uh, you can 
check that out here. We also have the new learn guide from Liz that'll show you how to use it. Uh, and there's a nice close up of it there. And here's the little back there, uh, again with our beautiful uh, silk or, or uh, silk screen text now. It looks all nice. It's not all not all bumpy anymore. Uh, and this is a uh, diode protected, so you don't you don't have to worry about that collapsing electromagnetic field flyback causing your microcontroller to scream. Uh, this is this is protected by the diodes there, so uh, you can get uh, about amp and a half. Uh, out of that for constant current. Uh, not sure what the um, other specs on it there. Yeah, so this is your, uh, yeah, three to, three to 30 volts you can provide and the signal can be three to 20 volts at uh, logic level. And then you get the two terminal blocks to connect up your uh, power hungry device. And then lastly, Remember before when I said that our coupon code is blingy? Just like that, that'll get you 10% off in the store. And the reason is because I like the word blingy and there it is right there. It's the new Feather S2 Neo Blingy RGB ESP32 S2 Feather development board from Unexpected Maker. Uh, so we just have a few of these in stock right now, but if you want to get one, uh, what you're getting is a, a really advanced board. It's Feather form factor. Uh, pin compatible feather form factor. It has the ESP32 S2 chip on it. It's got four megs of flash. It has two megs of QSPY uh, external PS RAM on it. It has this really cool little five by five NeoPixel uh, grid in the middle. Hmm, where have I seen that before? That reminds me of the product pick of the week this week. It was our little uh, cutie pie five by five. So you get a nice little um, five by five matrix there for doing blingy blingy things. You can obviously write words on there, which is useful, a simple little uh, text readout. Uh, and this being ESP32 S2, you can do Wi-Fi with it. So you can use this as an IoT uh, type of device connected up to Adafruit IO or other IoT types of uses. Um, it runs a, uh, let me see, it runs latest version, yeah, latest version of CircuitPython that supports ESP32 S2. Um, also runs uh, on the ESP IDF and the Arduino uh, support as well if you want to code in uh, C++. Uh, what else? There was another cool feature on this. It's got, uh, oh, the RGB LED that's used for um, status can be shut down to reduce your deep sleep current. Uh, and also has a pretty beefy 700 milliamp uh, regulator for 3.3 volt. And uh, the, uh, by the way, the um, matrix, LED matrix there is uh, running on its own LDO. So that current is not going to affect, you're not going to brown out your, your logic current on the rest of the board there. So um, really smart design behind here. So Go check that out. That, uh, let's, let's take a look at some of these nice pictures here. Uh, it's got USB-C on it. It has the battery charging circuit uh, and JST connectors for LiPo that you know and love. Uh, it has uh, boot and reset buttons on it for uh, getting into, for resetting it and for getting into uh, flashing mode. And it has a uh, Stemma QT quick connector on it for connecting up your I2C devices. Comes with some header pins there, depending on how you want to use it. You could solder those on. Happy, happy USB-C. Uh, and there's the back of the board there. Make something unexpected. It's the Feather Neo S2 from unexpectedmaker.com. Uh, and you can go to unexpectedmaker.com. as a link here uh, for documentation and support. Uh, and you can go to circuitpython.org to uh, grab your, uh, your UF2 to... to um, flash this with the latest version uh, and check out what versions are available. Check out the notes there. Uh, and oh, that first pick has a nice animation. Why isn't it animating for me? Is that the one you were talking about, Australy? Don't know why it's not animating. Spooky. Uh, all right, well, that I think is going to do it for new products.